Her mother and father had abandoned the severely ill young girl. Grandma was unable to care for her properly and had to admit her to the hospital. Nurses had performed a miraculous feat that had garnered much admiration on the internet. Recently, a photo of a young nurse feeding an infant patient while also attending to administrative duties went viral on the internet and has since been extensively published and loved. A significant congenital cardiac ailment has been diagnosed in Run Run, the infant in the photo. The kid was admitted to West China Hospital of Sichuan University in September after being born prematurely. Her life was spared by two major surgeries and the excellent care she received from the hospital's medical personnel and nurses. I have to multitask like this because the information about the patients has to be entered into the system on time, says Lao Min, the nurse in the photo. Run Run's parents abandoned the family shortly after her birth, and her elderly grandma was unable to provide enough care for her. The medical team at the hospital agreed to rotate who would be responsible for caring for the newborn, including feeding, changing, and washing her. Initially admitted to the hospital, Run Run had multiple organ failure, including heart failure, hepatic failure, pulmonary failure, significant edema, and starvation, among other things. Following consultation, physicians determined that Run Run's serious sickness was caused by heart disease and that if she were to be cured permanently, she would be able to enjoy a long and healthy life. But because Run Run was so sickly and frail, her nutrition in the weeks preceding up to the procedures was a major source of concern. In order to prepare Run Run for the surgeries, medical experts devised a detailed plan for the infant's nutrition which was then adjusted on a daily basis to account for changing circumstances. They took great comfort in any increase in the infant's weight because it signified that she was gaining strength and developing. Run Run is now in the process of recovering from her two high-risk procedures. In order to cover the cost of Run Run's medical care, the government established a public welfare fund. According to Wu Jihe, the project director of the fund, the financial position of Run Run's family will be reported to the local government after he's discharged from the hospital. This will take into account the family's poverty, according to Wu Zhu He. But first, let's find out what happened to the young lady in the photograph. Healthcare personnel are frequently referred to as temporary mothers in the context of patients who are physically unwell and hospitalized for an extended period of time. This is because they provide excellent care to the patients. In September of last year, a small girl named Lun Lun was admitted to the hospital because her body muscle was wasting away. Additionally, she suffered from hepatic and lung failure, as well as dizziness, systemic edema, and nutritional deficiency. Her condition was in critical condition. After Lun Lun's parents abandoned her shortly after she was born, the young girl was placed in the care of her grandmother. Grandma had no idea how to care for the severely ill child, and so she took her to the hospital despite the fact that she weighed only approximately 3 kilograms at the time. For a congenital heart problem, the doctor performed two operations, one of which was particularly remarkable in that her wound had not yet been sutured and her heart had been beating in the air for 48 hours. Lun Lun, on the other hand, was extremely resilient and survived the operations. After she was discharged, her grandma had no idea how to properly care for her following the difficult heart operation and she had no idea how to organize Lun Lun's daily diet. She sent Lun Lun back to the hospital where she sought assistance from the nurses out of sheer desperation. Lun Lun's plight was brought to the attention of the hospital's nurses. They pampered her as if she were their own child and they looked after her around the clock. They fed her every three hours, changed her diapers and took care of her upkeep. That day, the nutritionist paid Lun Lun a visit and took great care to ensure that her specialized nutrition meals were up to par. An image of a nurse named Lao Ming holding her infant daughter Lun Lun tenderly in her arms while she typed on a keyboard went popular on the internet and was shared by millions of people. People commended the nurse for taking such good care of Lun Lun despite her hectic schedule. As Liu Ming explained, she had been working in the hospital for 10 years and is very interested in the case of Lun Lun, who she had been following closely. After feeding her, Lao Ming stroked the back of Lun Lun to aid with digestion and she was able to consume 600 milliliters of milk every day, which was a significant improvement over the previous situation. If she was happy, she would smile and giggle at the nurses, and whatever, she was hungry. She would take a sip of milk from a milk bottle and wave at her mother's. 
Despite the fact that Lun Lun lacked parental care, the nurses regarded her as if she were one of her own children and provided her with the greatest possible care. Many people were moved by this news and expressed their gratitude to nurses all throughout the world in messages of support. A very similar case also happened with homeless mother arrested for leaving daughter with strangers in hospital stay. She was trying to give her new life. Carolina Viscara admits that she was thinking about sleeping on the streets, but she did not want her daughter to go through the same experience as she had. The mother of a two-year-old daughter has been arrested and charged with child abandonment after she allegedly left her in a hospital with two strangers and did not return. Miami-Dade County police officers say Carolina Viscara, 33, left her two-year-old daughter with two strangers, one of whom happened to be an off-duty police officer as she went to the bathroom at Mercy Hospital, claiming she needed to go to the bathroom. According to police, she did not return. When officers received a call from a woman claiming to be looking for a baby girl, they arrested and accused Miss Viscara with one offense of child abandonment, which she later denied. The caller supplied a description of the girl that matched the description of the two-year-old who had been abandoned. In an interview with the police, she explained that she had not abandoned her, according to the arrest report. It's a hospital, and I was concerned about her well-being. I was contemplating sleeping on the streets, but not with her, I said. Ms. Viscara was later freed from prison under the auspices of a special program that assists low-income, non-violent criminals. Her testimony at a bond court hearing revealed that she was homeless and had been the victim of domestic violence. I've been homeless for three years in Miami, and I've been here for three years. I have family in California, and I do not have a job at this time. CBS Miami reported that Ms. Viscara stated, I do not have a work visa at the moment. An image of the youngster in question was posted on Twitter by the Miami Police Department earlier in the day, asking for assistance in locating her family members and stating that she was in good health. The infant was then taken to the Florida Department of Children and Families, which later adopted her. The judge in the bond court ruled that Ms. Viscara should not have any contact with her daughter, but she was told that she could be able to have supervised visits with the child if she filed a separate petition in dependency court with the court. Police are continuing their efforts to track down the girl's family relatives, and it's yet unclear who will ultimately be granted custody of the young girl. Kind of Fallot, a police spokesperson, informed reporters that they were able to locate the mother after she went to the hospital and claimed she had left her baby there many hours later. According to the authorities, Ms. Viscara was fortunate in that the stranger turned out to be a plainclothes cop at the time of the incident. She gives the youngster over to this unidentified individual. Because he was a police officer, Mrs. Fallot added, what was going through his mind was that he went into police mode. We'd like to know what her mental state was at that time. The police were interested in knowing what she was thinking when she handed over her child to this unknown man. She continued.